In the first scene of the movie, we see a young teen girl skating over ice on a pond near her house. She is completely caught up in the moment. Her mom, Joan, is watching her from inside the warmth of their house and smiles. Her daughter seems very happy while skating. She knocks on the window and Casey is able to hear it. Joan signals her to go inside. Casey signals and asks for five more minutes, but her mother shows her math class book. School can ruin the fun sometimes. Next, we see Casey in her physics class. The bell has rung, but the teacher wants to have a word with her. He tells her that she has a special calling in physics, and he is willing to assist her into getting a scholarship. Casey doesn't seem very interested in it and doubts the teacher, but he insists and tells her she must consider herself lucky for being able to identify an area in which she has a special talent. To apply for the scholarship, she has to present a project. He suggests her to make it personal, work on something that interests her. But teens have their own problems. Casey meets with her friend on the corridor, and she seems very concerned about being invited to a party. One of the popular girls approaches them and hands them an envelope. She says that it's an invitation to her boyfriend's party, but then continues and asks Casey to give that invitation to a boy from her class. Mean. Casey is back home, and her mother is mumbling about what her teacher said. She says he must be a genius for being able to find a scholarship in physics for his daughter. Later, Casey has a visitor. She and her best friend are watching finger skating on TV. Casey seems very interested in it and makes comments about the athlete's performance. She watches the female athlete do a nice air spin and says, there must be an aerodynamic formula for that jump. The next morning, Casey visits the local skating club. She walks in and looks at some girls jumping, spinning, and landing on one foot. She takes her camera out and starts recording, but the female coach of the club spots her and takes her camera. She suspects that Casey is a spy, spying on her girls, probably to report back to her own coach. Casey tells her she just wants to analyze the girls' move for a physics project she intends to work on. She wants to find out if a unified theory can come out of this. The coach finally agrees to let her do it, but she will have to also convince the parents of the girls. Some of them allow her to do her project while others not. One of the athletes is that popular mean girl, Jen. She warns Casey to not show any footage of her falling on her butt or else she will make her switch schools. Casey walks on the ice to get some shots, but it's not allowed to step on the ice with normal shoes. She wears her skating boots and proceeds. Brian, Jen's boyfriend, comes to see her and brings her a burger. The coach, who is also revealed to be Jen's mother, roasts her and tells her to get back into practice. Jen says she just wants to spend some time with her boyfriend like all the other girls do. The coach says that Jen is not like the other girls. If she wants to be a champion, she has to make sacrifices. Casey meets with her friend and explains some of her project but her friend doesn't understand much of it. Casey also speaks with Tina, the coach, and asks her if she can take some skating classes as well. That might help her better comprehend her physics project. Tina says okay, but it will cost her $800. Casey starts a part-time job to gather the money as a fast food seller at a fun fair. Jen and two other girls from the skating team pass by and order some food. However, they are not very happy with it. Tina enrolls Casey in a class for novices. This class is full of kids. Tina hands out some butt protectors and they start to practice. This class will in fact prepare a recital performance. One little girl tells Casey that there will be scouters at the recital, but that's only for kids. When everyone has left the club, Teddy, who is the rink's janitor, uses a machine, some body, to smoothen the ice. Casey wants to try it, but that doesn't go well since Teddy shouts at her that she can't skate while the machine is cleaning the ice. Casey falls on her butt, and they share a moment in private for the first time. Casey goes to work on her physics project and prepares a presentation on her computer. Her mother tells her to get some rest and throws in a comment that she would not like to see her daughter squeeze herself into one of those tiny outfits. The next morning, Casey gets her best friend to film her with the camera. Casey explains her movements on the camera and what she's about to do and then proceeds doing it. 
She manages to get high in the air and impress both herself and her friend. Casey tells Tina that she wants to participate in the recital, and Tina says okay. The recital falls upon the same day with another event that Casey has to attend with her mother in order to be considered for her scholarship. Casey wears a skating uniform under her normal clothes and goes to the event with her mother. Once that is over, she goes to the skating club where the kids tell her she's late. The show starts and everyone is watching. Jen is one of them. She doesn't like that Casey is wearing Tina's old costume. Tina had to give her own costume to Casey because Casey didn't have one herself. The performance goes well for Casey, who gets a high double spin jump. The show is off and everyone applauds. That makes Jen jealous. Casey gets a great evaluation on her performance and she actually jumps two levels and joins Jen's category. She asks Tina if she can compete, but Tina says she can't. To compete to the regionals, she has to spend lots of money on equipment and time in practicing. To compete, one has to want it more than anything else. Casey's science teacher gives her an idea and says her project is so good and enthusiastic that she could probably sell it, and so does Casey. She sells parts of her project by helping Jen and her friends Tiffany and Nikki perfect their spins and landings. Casey uses that money to rent some time in the rink and skate. Her mother catches her on the act and asks her what she is doing. Tina covers for Casey and tells Joan that she's just working on her project. Casey returns on the rink the next day to help the girls some more. That same day, Jen takes Casey to a party, but she doesn't want to drag her around because Jen wants to spend some time with her boyfriend. So Jen hooks Casey up with the guy and leaves her alone. Casey starts geeking out and talking about physics, which turns the guy off. But the night is not all bad, since Teddy is at the party as well. They get together and talk about their lives. It seems like Teddy is Tina's son. Casey didn't know that. She thought Teddy was an employee at the rink. Teddy says he likes fixing stuff. The rink was a pit when his mother bought it with the money she got from her divorce, but Teddy turned it into a nice place. Casey develops a new daily routine. She takes ballet classes, she trains at the rink, and she also visits the gym. Her mother suspects that something is off because Casey got a C on an exam. She has never gotten a C before. She asks Casey what's up, and they have a fight. When Casey's backpack drops on the floor, Joan sees her skaters and her costume. At the dinner table, Casey and her mother are silent. Casey tells her she is good at figure skating, but her mother focuses on Casey's future. She tells Casey she should build a future for herself. Figure skating won't do her any good because it has an expiration date on it. Instead, she needs to work on her mental abilities, go to college, and secure her future. Casey wants to give her dream a chance and joins Tina and the other girls. Teddy will drive a van to get them to the regional skating competition. All parents are present except Casey's mother. In any case, the parents add some pressure on them. Tiffany's father tells Tiffany that he is working two jobs for his daughter to be able to be part of this, so it would be nice if she could win. When they get at the stadium, the girls come across Zoe. Zoe is another competitor whom the girls don't like. They tease each other and go their separate ways. The competition will consist of two parts, a short program and an artistic program. Zoe starts first and we actually get to see a part of her program. She's not bad. Then it's Tiffany's and Nikki's turn. Tiffany doesn't do well, but Nikki has an amazing performance. Jen is next, and she gives it her best. Now it's time for Casey to shine. She has a bad start, but she counterbalances it. Tina and Jen are watching her. Tina asks Jen if she knew that Casey could do a triple jump. Jen mentions that Casey had won the crowd. When the first part is over, the girls gather around the scoreboard to take a peek at the results. Jen has taken the fourth place, while Casey has taken the fifth place. Jen congratulates her, but Casey is not happy because only the four first places will get a chance to compete at the sectionals. Jen tells her that if she performs well at the artistic program, she can dethrone her and take the fourth place. Tina listens to the conversation and she takes Casey to speak with her privately. She tells Casey that her boots are very old and she can't compete with them. 
She gets her a new pair and gives it to her. Casey thanks her in all honesty for helping out. When it's time for the artistic program, Casey has trouble to get used to her new boots. The artistic program is over, and the girls take a look at the end results. Jen has taken the fourth place, and Casey the fifth. She is disappointed. Casey goes to the locker room to get changed. Zoe is there and watches Casey remove her boots. Her feet are hurt. Zoe asks Casey why she is wearing new boots. New boots need at least 10 days to be broken in. Everybody knows that. But apparently Casey didn't. Zoe says that Tina is a cheater and she had been disqualified in a competition in Sarajevo when she was an athlete. Casey confronts Tina, Jen, and Teddy and blames all of them for conspiring against her. Jen genuinely asks Tina in disbelief if she really gave Casey new boots. Casey just wants them to leave her alone and calls her mother to come and pick her up. When Joan gets there, she tells Casey to get in the car. Joan and Tina have a verbal fight. Tina says that Casey is talented but she doesn't have what it takes to be a champion. She is too kind and soft. Joan says that her daughter is brilliant and she can do whatever she sets her mind on and she can do it in the right way, without having to cheat. Tina chases after Jen in school because she missed practice. Jen quits figure skating because she doesn't like it anymore. She actually likes school and wants to follow up. Casey hears this whole conversation and forgives Jen since she had no idea about Tina's trickery. Jen tells Casey that she can compete to the sectionals when Jen pulls out, but Casey says she will focus on her interview with Harvard rather than skating. So, Casey has an interview with the man from Harvard's committee. He seems to like Casey and her passionate character, but Casey changes her mind at the last second. She gets in the car with her mother and tells her that she actually quit on Joan's dream and is ready to go after her own dream. Casey practices on the ice pond and Teddy joins her with a Zambani to clear the pond's surface. He also tells her that she can't make it alone to the sectionals. Casey asks for Tina's help and Tina will indeed help her out and be her coach. Casey and Joan stay distant from each other for some time because Joan doesn't approve of Casey's behavior. Casey invites her mother to the sectionals anyway. It would be nice to have her mother's support. The time has come and Casey is ready to compete. She starts her performance but falls flat on the ice. She gets up and tries to regroup. She takes a look at the audience and realizes that her mother has come to watch her. That makes her happy and able to have an amazing performance. When the competition is over, Joan tells Casey that she made a mistake. From now on, she will allow Casey to figure skate and go after her dream. Only now that she witnessed her daughter with her own eyes, she can understand how happy Casey is when she skates. Casey gets a good score and she will compete to the Nationals. Tina and Joan make truce and they will now support Casey as much as they can together. In addition, Casey and Teddy have their first kiss. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching.